Well, will you look at that? We have red deer up here in the nosebleed section, basically. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're gonna be doing a red deer zone guide here in Te Awaroa, and everything has changed here since the update, especially with red deer. Red deer have a brand new drink time. They now drink on every map, including New Zealand, from six till 10 or 10.30. And they definitely never used to be up here. Red deer used to drink from 17 until 20 or 20.30. They used to drink exclusively in the dark and I actually did many great one grinds in the dark. I have always felt like New Zealand was the best red deer map, at least it was for me but now it is even easier. And now they are drinking closer to the shore. They're not up in the trees. They are much easier to find. So that is a really great update change. So I think the Red Deer Great One grind is gonna be a lot easier. And I think a lot more people are gonna be doing their grinds in New Zealand here in Te Aoroa. And I know I don't say that right. I try, that's why I call it New Zealand. That I can say. <laughs> now, if you do enjoy today's video, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Let's head straight into it. Now, let me know in the comments, guys, are you planning to do a Red Deer Great One grind? And if you are, what map are you going to do it on and why? And let me know what you think of all these update changes. Pretty great, right? So I am going to share a map with you towards the end of the video, showing you every single Red Deer zone. Oh, there's some more Red Deer. We don't want to spook them. I'm going to share with you all of my zones here in New Zealand on a map, and I will post that map to my Discord for you guys to easily reference. And we are finding more and more Red Deer zones. Where are you going, my friend? I have a feeling there's another zone right here. It's fascinating to see them here. They definitely never used to be here. And one of the biggest changes is the fact that they are on the shore now and another zone. Crazy stuff, that is a beauty seven. Now you definitely wanna find all of your zones and I will also figure out how many zones there should be here in New Zealand so that you know when you can start your great one grind. This guy's gonna bolt. Goodbye, my friend, but don't worry, I'm gonna get your zone right here. Now you can pick up zones from the zone indicator, just like that, and that zone's from 6.30 until 10.30. And another zone, oh my goodness, this lake is an absolute hotspot. So we now have found, holy, six drink zones on this lake for red deer. So I did drop a tent, I think I'm gonna have to pull it a little bit closer, and I'm actually going to head down here and see if we have more down there. Now, as always, it is smartest to find all of your red deer zones before you start your great one grind. You will get better respawns that way. Sometimes not having all your zones can cause you to not get respawns or not get them consistently. Now the nice thing about red deer is I find once you do have all your zones, they respawn like a dream. Whitetail don't always respawn perfectly, but red deer I feel like they really do. When I was doing my great one grind, I killed almost 10,000 stags. We did a lot of grinding and I found just about every time I went to my zone, there were always red deer waiting for me. I never had to go to zones and wait or come back and see if they were gonna show up. They were just there for me and that is delightful. I can't stand being frustrated doing a great one grind. You want it to be fun and you want it to be efficient. So definitely set up with tents and tripods on this lake. This lake is absolutely amazing. And there is another zone, oh my goodness. Another thing you'll want to do is check all your zones for an initial spawn great one. So this lake is absolutely loaded. All in all, we have seven red deer zones on this northern lake, top left hand corner. Pretty crazy. So guys, I am noticing when you come to an outpost since the update, if you go in to change the time and you simply can't, all you need to do to fix this, and I think it's just a little bug, is rediscover your flagpole. You may have to do that at every outpost, but that is all you have to do to fix that. And then you can go in and access your storage locker and change the time. Holy, look over here, guys. I have never seen red deer here ever. We just spooked, ooh, there's a nice one. Let's shoot him. Do not disappear on me, my dude. We got a couple really beauties. That is a big boy mythical. So let me show you where we are. I have never seen red deer on this lake ever. So that is definitely new with the update. Very interesting. Two beauty sevens and an eight. Okay. We're gonna take him and him. Beautiful. Two big boys. 
actually really like it when they update maps and change zones around. I think it refreshes the game. If everything is always the same, it can become boring. So I think this is pretty sweet. So I only found the one zone here so far. But if you guys do find more zones for Red Deer on this lake, please let me know in the comments. Hey, no floating. Floaters are the worst. I'm actually hoping the next DLC is going to be retrieving dogs. I think that would go amazing with Rev on Tule Coast. I don't know if it could pick up our floaters here. That would be amazing because they really do float very slowly. They always float to exactly where you were when you shot the animal. All right, and there is our big boy 215. And don't they look beautiful on the new scorecards? Absolutely beautiful. So diamond for Red Deer has changed. It used to be 251 on the nose and now it is 251.07. So if you get a 251 Red Deer, you are going to feel very ripped off because it is not going to be a diamond. And it looks like we're gonna have another Red Deer drink zone right down at the end here. I think they're just coming out. So I think also another change that we do have with the update guys is that we are going to have a lot more single stag zones in New Zealand that never used to be a thing. That was a quattro thing, but it looks like we do have singles and I have seen that in other spots on the map. Now I don't like to shoot single stag zones. They will vanish when you shoot them. The zone should come back somewhat in the same area, but it can mess with your respawns when you are missing zones. And that is why I don't like to shoot them. If I have a big one there, then I will. Come back and have a drink and claim your zone. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, dog. There's our seven, 186, and that is another beautiful rack. Chill, my dude. So definitely check in this area for Red Deer Zones. Glen Calluck. Okay guys, this is really interesting because this used to be the best Red Deer Lake in all of New Zealand and there is still one zone. I have one. I may get another one, but there aren't a huge amount of Red Deer here. But what I am seeing is all kinds of feral pigs. They vanished on me. There was like just a pile of them just a second ago. I think that feral pigs are going to be drinking around this lake. I think they were traveling and they went into the woods. Man, they can disappear fast. But yeah, this is definitely not the hot spot it used to be. I used to have two tents here. I did pull one, so we are gonna keep one here, but not a lot of red deer. Okay, so now we are in the Bay of Rest. Let's have a look here. We definitely have red deer here. And there is our first zone. We got some nice ones in there, but that is all I am seeing. That is fascinating. This used to be loaded with red deer. Now, whenever you're discovering zones, guys, I really do highly recommend that you go back to where you have checked for zones at a later time to check again. I find zones can come out in stages. At least that's what it seems like to me. So we might actually get another zone in this area, but right now there is just one zone here. So that is the Bay Arrest. Okay, so I'm now at this lake and I actually have it double tented because the beavers have got me before and trust me, getting a tent over here or just getting to this lake can be a serious pain in the neck. It's not easy to get to, but we have a beautiful zone for red deer here, just one zone with all kinds of stags. And this has been traditionally one of my absolute favorite zones when I have done my grind. So I have my tent up here. You can't see my tripod, but I do have a tripod here. That is a bug in the game right now, guys. You can't see your tripods. Hopefully we get a hot fix for that soon, but they are on your map if you do have tripods out. They're just not gonna show when you look at the map, unfortunately. So definitely check in this spot. Okay, so I just found an absolute hot spot for red deer. Look at that. There's a mythical. That's one zone. There's another zone with some nice big beauties in it. Third zone right there and a fourth zone right over here. So right now we are at this lake right here. So definitely check for red deer on this lake. There used to be two zones here and now it is loaded with red deer. So this is definitely different guys. So we are now on the river and that is four drink zones for red deer. I used to have one right around here, all kinds of them. So crazy. So I think right now we're around 35 zones. Now I definitely could be missing zones, but that is definitely gonna be enough to get you started on your great one grind. And if you find you aren't getting proper respawns, definitely go and look for more zones, but there is a very good chance that you will just find them if there are more while you are doing your rotations. That seems to be what's been happening for me with my black bear grind and I am now up to 50. 52 zones, but I don't think we have that many for red deer. My guess would be maybe 40 zones. There might be five more, but let's have a look at that map. 
Okay guys, so these are all of the Red Deer drink zones that I have found in T. Auroroa since the update. I have 37 zones. I'm guessing there are around 40. So basically they're in all the same places they used to be, plus they are in the top left corner lake and this bottom right hand corner, the big lake under the river, that is brand new as well. And there are none in the bottom left hand corner where they used to be. Like I mentioned before guys, your map won't be exactly the same as mine, but it should be very similar and that should definitely help you to find your Red Deer drink zone here in New Zealand. So there you have it guys, that should definitely help you to find all of your Red Deer drink zones since the update here in Te Awaroa. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys would like to learn exactly what to do to set up and execute your Red Deer Great One grind here in New Zealand, I will leave you with the Red Deer playlist. Here it is on the screen for you guys. Click away guys. Don't forget to leave a like guys. Thank you guys so much and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.